very good. Good evening and uh, welcome to the Planning Commission meeting for January 2020. I'll call this meeting to order. Can we have roll call, please? Chair Kurth? Here. Vice Chair Marsh? Here. Commissioner Wells? Here. Commissioner Huber? Commissioner Harriman? Here. Please rise for the invocation led to us by Commissioner Huber and the Pledge of Allegiance uh, by Commissioner Marsh. Heavenly Father, we gather to make decisions for our community. May we use only our best skills and judgment, keeping ourselves impartial and neutral as we consider of each matter that is placed before us and always act in accordance with the best for our community and our fellow citizens. We ask these in your name. We have a set of minutes from December 11th that we need to deal with. I make a motion to approve the <coughs> December minutes for the Planning Commission. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Wells with a second by Vice Chair Marsh to approve the minutes of the December 11, 2018 regular meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Staying. Opposed? Motion carries with Commissioner Huber abstaining. <coughs> Thank you. Agenda item number one uh, is um, a request to uh, for continuance, is there anything that needs to be noted by staff before we do so? No, not at this point. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, open up the public hearing on agenda item number one. Is there anyone here to speak to us on one? Seeing no one, I'll leave the public hearing open and I'll continue this item to the uh, make a motion to continue this to February 12th, 2020 Planning Commission meeting. Second. We have a motion by Chair Kurth with a second by Commissioner Huber to keep the public hearing open and continue case PLAN19-00034 to the February 12, 2020 regular planning commission meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Agenda item number two is the same situation. It is a request for continuance. I'll open up the uh, public hearing if there's anyone here to speak to us on item number two. Seeing no one, I'll leave the public hearing open and continue this item, make a motion to continue this item to the February 12, 2020 Planning Commission meeting. We have a motion by Chair Kurth with a second by Commissioner Huber to keep the public hearing open and continue case PLAN 19-00044 to the February 12, 2020 regular Planning Commission meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. 
Thank you. Agenda item number three, staff report, please. Thank you, Chairman Kurth, fellow commissioners. Item number three is a tentative parcel map with an environmental exemption to allow for the creation of two parcels from one existing 11 acre parcel zone R4, very high uh, residential. This is located at the northwest corner of 11th Avenue and Winona Street. The applicant is proposing this parcel map, uh, which will result in two parcels approximately the same size, parcel one being 5.3 acres, parcel two being 5.6 acres. Uh, parcel one, uh, the southern parcel, has um, already started construction for a previously approved 170 bed skilled nursing facility. Uh, the site plan of that nursing facility is referenced in attachment C to the staff report. Um, the other parcel, parcel two, uh, does not have any approved plans at this point and will remain vacant. Uh, staff finds that the proposed tentative map uh, complies with all applicable development standards as conditioned and therefore staff recommends approve approval. Thanks. Any questions for staff? I'll open up the uh, public hearing on agenda item n number three, if there's anyone here to speak to us. Nope. Oh, okay. I will um, close the public hearing on number three and bring it back to the uh, to the commission. I make a motion of staff's recommendation to find that the project categorically exempt exempt under section 15315 of the CEQA entitled Minor Land Divisions and adopt planning commission resolution number P-19-061 approving case number plan 19-00048. Second. We have a motion by Commissioner Wells with a second by Vice Chair Marsh to approve case PLAN 19-00048 as conditioned. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. That's been approved. Welcome. Agenda item number four, staff report, please. Thank you, Chairman Kurth. Item number four is case PLAN 19-00049. It is a development agreement to allow for a one-year extension of time for tentative track map 14863, which is a 100, I'm sorry, which is a 561 lot single family residential subdivision that was previously approved and environmentally assessed on property located within a residential plan unit development. This is located north of Puesta del Sol, east of Village Drive, south of Desert Poppy Lane, and west of Green Hill Drive. Uh, Pinehurst LLC is the owner of this uh, tentative map, um, and they have already expended all 10 of their years of extensions that are afforded by the California Government Code. Uh, the current map is set to expire on April 9, 2020. To allow for this map to f to be further uh, extended, uh, the, the same government code section allows for um, the term to be expanded beyond the 10 years through the approval of a development agreement. Uh, this uh, development agreement would essentially vest the rights of the um, existing land use ordinance and also the existing development approvals such as this uh, tentative track map for the term of the development agreement, uh, which is proposed at one year. Um, staff is supportive of the uh, proposal um, and uh, an add-on has been um, distributed to the commission, uh, which added some clarifying language to the proposed development agreement. So if the uh, planning commission should recommend this uh, for approval by the city council, uh, we ask that you include those in your motion. And staff's available if you have any questions. I just had one um, one quick question um, on this site. I I wasn't clear. I noticed that the uh, development agreement. You know, there's a, a number of required findings. But was the um, uh, this this map was there any changes to the from the map before with in in terms of amenities or anything like that that would have changed our lot sizes? No. So uh, what was approved in 2018 is what the developer in 2018 by the planning commission 
is what the developer's seeking to record. And um, that included a park and the minimum lot size wouldn't have changed since then. So this, this gives them the vesting of at that time, which is still pretty much... Correct, yeah. So it'll, it'll afford them additional time to get all their <coughs> final maps uh, in order to uh, file and record. Any questions of staff? Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, open up the public hearing on uh, agenda item number four, if there's anyone here to speak to us. Welcome. I'm Jennifer. Ch Ooh, gosh. I'm Jennifer Chung with Pacific Communities. I'm here with Dean Paradise from DA and just here to answer any questions if you have any for us. So. Any questions for the applicant? No, thank you. Then I'll go ahead and uh, close the public hearing and bring it back to the commission. I'll find the project previously assessed for environmental purposes and top resolution number P-19-066 re recommending city council approval of development agreement case number N-19-0. Second. We have a motion by Commissioner Hubert with the second by Vice Chair Marsh to recommend PLAN 19-00049 for City Council approval with the added revisions. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Uh, agenda item number five is a uh, um, is an item in which I'd like to state that the Planning Commission shall acknowledge the property owner's withdrawal of consent to proceed at the noted location, uh, hereby removing this item from the agenda. So this item shall be removed. At this time in compliance with the Brown Act, no one's here, so I don't have to do that, right? But let it let it state for the record that I gave uh, an opportunity for for uh, those to come up and uh, uh, discuss any issues that fall within the uh, Planning Commission subject jurisdiction. Uh, that's it. Um, Planning Commissioner uh, comments. Uh, uh, Commissioner Wells, anything? Uh, no, just um, glad we made it into a new decade. Commissioner Marsh. Uh, just a uh, happy new year. <coughs> Uber? Or Herman? I have a question. Uh, um, on Bear Valley Road, there are some apartments on the uh, east side of O'Reilly's, right next to the Chevron station. There's three apartment, uh, small apartment complexes right there. And all three of them have their trash enclosures are torn down. The trash bins are open, and there's trash blowing all over the place. And um, uh, are we? Is code enforcement uh, visiting those sites and then um, uh, writing them up and requiring them to bring a, uh, up to code a trash enclosure? I'm not sure if anyone here knows if there's an active code enforcement uh, case on those three particular properties, um, but we do need, with a city of our size and the number of code enforcement officers we have, we do need it reported so that we can now go out. And so based on what you observed, we'll make sure they go out and, and open up a case if one is not already opened on those properties. Yeah, because th they're old, old and dilapidated. Uh, they're... Two of them have wood fences that are falling out. You know, they're just not even enclosed. So they're pretty trashy looking when you get off the freeway and head down Bear Valley Road. Have them take a look at the, the property okay. itself. That's it for me. I saw the release that there's somebody running around as a code enforcement officer. Like, oh, I'm thinking maybe the citizens are 
like starting vigilante code groups <laughs> help <laughs> help clean things up. And I have uh, nothing else. Is there uh, uh, any uh, information or reports from uh, any of the staff? Yeah, I actually just wanted to give um, a heads up. You may start hearing in the news about uh, new legis new housing legislation from the state um, regarding single family zoning. Um, there is a uh, legislation, Senate Bill 50, uh, sponsored by Senator Weiner, that will, if it's approved, could uh, have a drastic effect on what we know of single family zoning as uh, not only our city moves forward, but uh, other cities uh, throughout the state. Uh, it seems to be a trend uh, to um, modify or somewhat eliminate single family zoning. Um, so I just want to give you that heads up and I'll, I'll send you some more information on it um, for you to understand that it may be something that we have to address in the next two years before we get an, a new housing element updated by the state. Uh, so just something on the horizon I wanted to make you aware of if you haven't heard of that, but uh, it may may come across uh, your news feeds in the next couple of weeks. There, is there a draft of SB 50 out there? There is, um, and there's a couple of articles that summarize it. Um, I'll go ahead and shoot those over to you. Anything else? Uh, just to finish the conversation that we started over there, if the uh, planning commissioners are interested in um, observing or being a part of the uh, 2020 homeless point in time count, it is January 23rd. Um, it's from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. And the headquarters will actually be in conference room D that we just came from. So if you're interested, just let staff know and um, we'll make sure that you signed up. I've never done that. Does it, is it, do they just break up into groups and go to certain section segments of the city and yes, try to? That, yes, that's correct. So far, I believe we have 64 volunteers and then the police department, code enforcement, some of the city staff also supplement and, and are part of those groups. Okay, thanks. It's at 6 a.m.? 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Okay, well, thank you, everybody. Uh, meeting adjourned.